All right. Well, as we've been telling you, Governor Spitzer resigned today. His wife, Silda Wall Spitzer, uh, a prominent attorney at one point herself, really has done more than just stand by him during this whole ordeal. In the hours before he announced his resignation today, she reportedly urged him not to step down, not to give in. That, according to a New York Times report today. Silda Spitzer is, of course, not the first political wife to show loyalty during a sex scandal, but her decision to stand by her husband is sparking some very strong reactions today. The couple have been married since 1987. They have three teenage daughters. So where do they go from here? Gender expert Susan Shapiro Barash joins me now. Uh, you know, it's it's interesting to take a look at this, and and one of the things that I, I do want to ask you about, you know, just in terms of the psychology of all of this. I heard him say, first, I have to heal myself. Uh, you, you hear a lot in this world about sex addiction, addiction, and you know, is this what we're going to hear next from him? That this was an incurable problem that he couldn't satisfy, and that it was an illness? Well, whatever he does say. What matters so much now is what his wife does and how his daughters feel because it's been so difficult for them. They've really been victimized by this whole ordeal. So what do you think is the next step? How do you heal a family? We've seen a lot of this play out in a very high profile way many times over. How do you begin, especially when all the cameras are gone and it's just you guys, you know, sitting around the house looking at each other? Well, the greater good theory really has to prevail and his wife really has to say to herself, I forgive you and I can trust you again. And that takes a very long time. It's really a very private matter. It I mean, I think a lot of women look at the situation and say, why? You know, it, it, how, why? Why does she have to stand by him, uh, as we've seen so many wives do, when, when she really has been betrayed to such a great extent? Well, I agree with you. I think it's the first time that women across the country are saying, why is this woman standing by her man? And why, when it's so difficult for her, and his rise to power and his descent really is something that she has been on the, you know, she's been there all along, and now she's really suffering for it. It's demoralized. And yet she's there. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Let me get some quick thoughts uh, from our panel.